Okay, now recently Samsung launched this all new Galaxy Watch 5 series with an all new iteration of One UI, which is One UI 4.5 based on Wear OS 3.5. Samsung did release the beta version of One UI 4.5 on the Galaxy Watch 4 series in the US and in few other countries and the stable version is expected to hit the Galaxy Watch 4 series very soon. Now with this all new One UI 4.5, Samsung intends to provide a better watch experience and it has made some changes in the UI and added some cool new features as well. So in this video, we are going to compare One UI 4.5 which is running on this Galaxy Watch 5 Pro Bluetooth version and uh, here I have got the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic 46mm. This is again the Bluetooth version. This is running on Wear OS 3.2 on which we have got the One UI 4.0. Let me open the quick settings over here on both the watches. As you can see on One UI 5.0, the moment we swipe and open the quick toggles, we will see the battery percentage right here on the top. Whereas on 4.0, we will see the date first and we will have to wait for a couple of seconds to see the status of the battery. This certainly helps if you have set a watch face on which you don't have the battery bar or battery percentage information if you want to quickly open the quick panel and see the battery status or battery percentage you will have to wait for a couple of seconds on the older version of one ui whereas on the new one the date will be shown right here at the bottom for a second or so i wish the date information was shown for a few more seconds but as soon as we open the quick panel it'll remain there for a couple of seconds and it disappears but the battery percentage will be shown right there on top. I wish Samsung is going to make some changes here and keep that date for a longer duration. Anyways, now let's go ahead. Let me just press and hold on the watch face here. As you can see on the older version, all those watch faces which are available can be seen right here. We can just swipe across the screen to see all the watch faces which are installed on the watch. Whereas on the One UI 4.5, we will have to add the watch faces from the ones which are there on the phone. As you can see, we have got add watch face option here. I will tap on this. Then we get to see all the watch faces which are on the watch and add the one you want here. Not sure why Samsung has made this change. On One UI 4.0, it was much easier to see the watch faces and add them quickly. Whereas on this one, we can see the ones which are added here and then we tap on add watch face and then we add the watch face to this list here. That's another change we have. Now Samsung did add some additional customization options on the already existing watch faces. I will just show you one watch face for example as you can see I just press and hold on this watch face and tap on customize. On the older version we have got four options in the dial section whereas on the newer version we have got multiple dial options with different background colors and different background designs. That's an example for how Samsung has added the customization features. There are a few more watch faces which get additional customization options. Okay, now the next cool feature which Samsung added on One UI 5.0 is the QWERTY keyboard. While making searches or responding to messages or emails, we can take advantage of this full QWERTY keyboard we have on One UI 4.5. Earlier this was the keyboard we had and now we have this full QWERTY keyboard. We can just swipe from the bottom to see some more options. We've got dictation option, we have handwriting option, smileys, numbers and we also have a settings option here. When I tap on this you can see we've got input languages, predictive text option, auto replace, auto spacing, auto capitalize option, double tap space bar to add full stop and we also have this cool keyboard swipe controls. We can tap on this to select swipe to type option on this QWERTY keyboard. That is fantastic. Now we get full QWERTY keyboard experience on the watch like we have it on the phone. All right, now let's go to settings on both the watches. Now here under accessibility, there are many changes which Samsung has made. We've got some cool new features and some new changes under this section. I'll just tap on accessibility on both these watches. As you can see, we've got talk back on both. Then we've got visibility enhancements. I'll tap on visibility enhancements. As you can see on One UI 4.0, we just have magnification, font size, grayscale, color inversion, add color filter. Whereas on the newer version, we have got a new option, high contrast fonts. I'll just enable this. As you can see, the contrast of the fonts have increased. We get to see the high contrast fonts. Then we have color correction option. I'll just tap on this. It says, if you have trouble seeing some colors, a color adjustment may make things clearer. You can turn this on and make some adjustments by selecting these color options here. That's a cool feature we have. Then we have got an all new toggle here to remove the animations. You can just enable this to make your UI snappier or faster. But if you like animations, then you might as well leave it as it is. Then we have got this cool new option, reduce transparency and blur. 
If you want, you can turn this on. Again, to make the visibility better, we have got an option called bold font. If you turn this on, the font will look much bolder. If you have any issues in viewing the default fonts, you can turn on the bold font option here. These are the changes or new features we have got under visibility enhancements. Now let me tap on hearing enhancements on both these watches. As you can see on the older version, we have got mute all sounds and mono audio. Whereas on One UI 4.5, we have got an all new option sitting right here at the bottom, left, right sound balance. So if your watch is connected to your audio device, you can balance the sound by using this feature. Depending on your hearing requirements, you can adjust or balance the sound using this feature. Apart from these feature under accessibility, we have got an all new option called interaction and dexterity. This was not there on the previous version. Let me tap on interaction and dexterity. As you can see, we have got a few more options here. The first one is touch and hold delay. You can set how long it takes for a continuous touch to be recognized as a touch and hold. Lower the number here gives you a better response when you press and hold on an option on the screen. Basically, this feature can make your interactions with the watch screen snappier or slower depending on the numbers you set here. Next we have tap duration. It says set how long an interaction needs to be held to be recognized as tap. This is particularly for tap. Again, the lowest seconds would be better. You can just increase the seconds here and test the tap right here at the bottom. As you can see, when it is set to 0.1 seconds and when I tap on this, it is recognizing the tap quickly. If you increase the time here, you will have to press and hold for that much of time to get a response from the screen. Then we have another option, ignore repeated touches here. If you want, you can enable this. Here, only your first tap will be recognized. Multiple touches will be ignored for the time you set. You can tap here to test it. This will help you if your hand or your fingers are not steady when you touch the watch. You may be touching it multiple times without knowing, which leads to touch responses from the screen as well. To avoid that, you can set your required time right here. All right, now the next feature is accessibility shortcuts. This is also available under accessibility option. Let me just show you that. I'll just tap on accessibility. All the way down, we have got advanced settings here. And here we have accessibility shortcuts. It says set accessibility functions to turn on when you press the home key twice or triple tap with two fingers on any screen. Here you can select any of the accessibility options so that you can quickly access by double pressing the home key or triple tap with two fingers on any screen. As you can see now I'm on the home screen, I will just double tap the home button and the accessibility option opens up here. So all these features are focusing on the accessibility and these features under accessibility settings make life much easier for a lot of people to interact with the watch. So on One UI 4.5, there is a lot of focus on making the interactions with the watch convenient and easy. These are the changes or features which we have on One UI 4.5, which is currently on the Watch 5 series. And these features will be landing on the Galaxy Watch 4 series as well very soon. So if you want a Galaxy 4 series, which is running on Wear OS 3.2, you will be getting this update very soon with all these useful features. As soon as the update drops on the watch, I will keep you guys posted. I will post a video with all the new features which we are going to get. It's going to be more or less similar to what I have explained in this video. However, Samsung may omit some of the features are they may add some additional features to it let's wait and see how it's going to go and then i'll keep you guys posted about it so all you need to do is be sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for all those contents about the galaxy watch 4 series 5 series and the one ui 4.5 on the watch that's about it thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye